Welcome to Berwick Mitsubishi. My name is Mason and today we're doing a walk around video on this 2013 Kia Sorento Platinum. So being the Platinum model it does come with a few added benefits and features compared to your standard model. So we will go through and cover most of the exterior condition as well as the features on the inside. So starting off at the front end, got this big bold Kia badging right in the middle of this really nice black grille does also have a really nice chrome finish around it does give it just just breaks up the front end and gives it a really nice sporty look as well and as i mentioned split grill split grill finish as well and you've got your front parking sensors built into the front bar it does help when you're parking such a big car um, and makes it quite easy to maneuver as well just in the front bar you've got your fog lights it does help when you are driving in those cloudy mornings and you've got this really big beautiful bold headlights here with your projector globe in there as well does make it uh, does provide extra visibility and clear dispersion of light in the nighttime and you've got your daytime running lights just above there obviously makes it quite um, uh, adds a safety feature to the actual car especially during the daytime now coming through to the first alloy got this really nice chrome gunmetal with the chrome finish um, kind of like a dual tone finish to the actual rim really gives it a really nice look to the side of the car goes it ties in really well with the self silver paintwork now condition of the rim is pretty good you do have a few minor scuffing marks around the actual car now being a 2013 model seven year old car you would expect very minor marks however the actual integrity of the rim is quite good again very minor scratching here and pretty much brand new tires on the front end here so the car the rim has been looked after pretty well and we've had we've done the um due diligence of adding some brand new tires to the front end now coming across the side you've got your color match side mirror with the chrome door handle now in the side mirror here you do have your indicators built in there it does obviously elevate the indicator makes it extra visible for the drivers around you and also clears up this quarter panel makes it really nice and um, sleek on the side of the car now the undercover is a plastic cover it does help protect it from any stone chips or major damage to any expensive paintwork now coming across here as I mentioned you got this chrome finish door handle with being a keyless entry car you do have a little button here that does help you lock the car or unlock it if you wanted to. Now just opening up the door here, taking a look at the driver's side, do you get really nice leather seats. Now the condition of the seats are quite good considering it is a seven year old car. Now there's no major cracking or damage to the actual leather itself. However, the seat bolsters are a little bit loose but the condition is still quite good. Now coming, looking at the carpet here, great condition on the carpet, no tears or damage to the carpet itself. And you've got this really nice Kia Sorento badging here on the scuff plate and another scuff plate here above the paintwork. It is going to protect this paintwork here and stops it from getting damaged when you are climbing in and out of the car. Now just looking at the door card where we can get a little bit lazy and kick the door open, very minor marks but for the most part the door has been looked after quite well. So the previous owner has done a great job in putting the right accessories on the car to make sure that it is looked after and protected. Now I will mention that the car does come with tint so it is going to save you a little bit of money there. However, if you did want to speak to us about upgrading it to the darkest legal tint, just gives it a really nice finish on the actual car. Please speak to us about what we can do for you in terms of packages. Now the car does have roof racks just above there so if you did want to mount any additional roof racks or crossbars for any uh, traveling or bikes that you might need to, you can do that. Now coming to the second alloy. Again, very minor marks on the inside here, but the actual rim is in great condition. Again, another little mark there, but great condition on the rim, no major damage. And again, brand new tires on the car. So we've, we've taken that extra step and added new tires to um, obviously preserve the car and give you that longevity. Now coming over to the tailgate, you've got your Sorento badging with the platinum badging just underneath that. Just obviously get, show you that you are driving a platinum model, top of the line model with all the added benefits. You've got the Kia badging right in the middle here with your reverse camera mounted just underneath that. Now you do have your big bold brake lights with another real, uh, your rear fog lights mounted just under there. Now there is a very minor stone chip here. Uh, paint chip but the actual tailgate is in great condition you've also got your rear parking sensors as well as a tow bar mounted in case you are towing anything or traveling um, as well just up here you've got your high mounted brake light with the rear wiper washers uh, now that does help when you are braking it does give extra visibility to the drivers uh, behind you now opening up the tailgate as you can see you've got your floor mats just in the back seat back here so all your genuine floor mats for the Kia and as I mentioned it is a seven seater so quite easy to tuck the seats down um, when that's all not fully reclined and plenty of storage you do have two cup holders as well and just under here if you can move these carpet mats out of the way 
I've got all your tools for your spare wheel and your spare wheel is mounted just underneath the car here. So space saver does obviously being a seven seater does help to have that spare wheel under the back and it clears up the back end of the car. Now just closing it up, coming across to the passenger side of the car, as you can see, fuel cap is on the safe side of the car, so if you do have to pull over in case of an emergency, you know you're tucked away safe from any oncoming traffic. Coming over to that third alloy wheel, now this wheel has, I will say, taken a little bit of gash, uh, gutter gash possibly, so the condition isn't A1, but as I mentioned, it is a seven-year-old car, and the actual integrity of the rim is great. You can probably, we've done what we can to touch it up and to the best of our ability, however, there are quite a few marks around that. But there are, again, brand new tires on the back end of the car there. All right, just coming across the passenger side, there is a very minor scratch here, um, and a little bit of scuffing on this side, so just a very minor, minor damage, but general wear and tear considering the age of the car. Now, coming over to that fourth and final alloy, the one that gets damaged the most is actually in the best condition. No major marks or damage to the actual rim or the paintwork. Very minor mark here, however, the rim's actually been looked after quite well, and again, brand new tires on that fourth alloy. Now, as you can see guys, the car presents exceptionally. What we're gonna do now is pop the hood and take a look inside. All right, taking a look inside the engine bay of the 2013 Kia Sorento. What you have here is a four cylinder 2.2 liter turbo diesel motor. Now it is fitted with a six speed automatic gearbox. So it does make the drives really nice and smooth. Now this car does have a five star ANCAP rating with six airbags. So plenty of safety for all the passengers inside the car. Now this motor itself produces 145 kilowatts with 436 newton meters of torque. So plenty of torque for any possible towing. And if the car was full with all seven seats, you know it's gonna drive just fine. Now this car is a diesel motor with 64 liter fuel tank and that this motor itself has a combined fuel consumption of 7.3 liters per 100 kilometers with an average fuel distance of 877 kilometers off a full tank depending on how you drive and whether you are towing. All right, now taking a look inside the Kia Sorento. Now being the Platinum model, as I mentioned before, it does come with a few added benefits inside the interior, but we will go through that as we touch through each aspect of the interior. Now starting off on the driver's side door, one thing I will mention is the seat does adjust when you do turn the car on. So you do have two presets that you can set the seats to in case you obviously have two drivers in the car. You can set them and you do just tap them on and it will just adjust your seat level and height in, um, accordingly. Now starting off on the driver's side door, you do get this really nice, leather wrapped armrest with um, your power window settings here. Now your front driver and passenger are fully automatic up and down and your rears are just your standard um, power windows. Just above that is your central locking button and your window lock in case people are playing around with the windows in the back seat. Just above that are your toggles for your um, power mirrors um, and you can just adjust it with the left and right setting and you do have a little button here to tuck your side mirrors in if you did want to in case you are parked on the side of the road. Now coming onto the right hand side of the dash, we have a few little buttons here. You've got a little toggle here for the illumination of the actual cluster. And just next to that is your traction control button with your rear diff lock. Now being an all-wheel drive model, you can lock the diff so it is stays in four-wheel drive mode or all-wheel drive mode in case you are doing any off-roading or dri driving on any um, abnormal terrain. On the right hand stock here, you've got your headlights as well as your right and left indicator. Now the headlights are automatic, so you can just leave it in auto and the car is gonna do everything for you. And you've got a little fog light um, controls here as well. Coming over to the left hand stock are all your wiper and washer fluids for your front and rear. Now they're just your standard ones, so you do need to adjust it accordingly when it does rain. Taking a look at the actual steering wheel, very comfortable steering wheel and the leather is in great condition is a leather wrap steering wheel and no major wear or damage to the leather or fading so it has been looked after quite well and just on the right hand side of the steering wheel you do have all your cruise control settings with your adaptive cruise control as well so obviously being the top spec it does come with these few added benefits on the left hand side are um, your media controls for your mode to flick through the different options as well as your mute button and your volume now just below there you got a few little buttons here for your bluetooth call and reject as well as a little control to flick through the actual um, screen in your cluster and you can go up or down or back and select with this control. Now being a keyless entry car this is your stop start button obviously put your foot on the brake to stop and start the car and 
how, uh, just coming over to the center console here, what you can see is a little da uh, display here for your timing and obviously your touchscreen head unit. Now, this car does come with inbuilt navigation. As you can see, we're at 20 to 32 Kangen Drive, so please come check us out when you get the opportunity. As I mentioned, it does have navigation, inbuilt navigation in the car, and you can go to um, your options to flick through the, um, to obviously search your route, route settings, and you've got your media controls for your Bluetooth audio as well as your AM and FM radio. Coming under that, you've got your dual climate control, so driver and passenger do have their own climates. You can adjust it accordingly. You've got your fan speed and all the different modes to flick through that. Now, as I mentioned, platinum, uh, being the platinum model, you do get heating and cooling seats, so added benefit, best of both worlds. On those warm days like today, you can put your cooling seats on. If you just press on this side, and you can adjust the different temperatures accordingly as well. Just under that, got a little bit of storage with a 12 volt socket we don't have any cigarette lighters in these cars as we don't encourage people to smoke in the cars however we do have a 12 volt in case of any charging and you've got a usb and an auxiliary cord as well just behind that have a little bit of added storage for two cup holders or you could just keep whatever else you want in there and you do have this really nice gear, uh, leather wrap gear shifter now as i mentioned when you do put it into reverse you do get the reverse camera as well with your guiding lines and the, in there and you've got the rear bar just there as well so very easy and clear to see when you are driving or reversing sorry and you've got the benefit of the front and rear parking sensors now when you come down to drive you can flick it across to the right and it does let you flick through the gears manually being your sports shift gearbox so it does help when you are towing up a hill you did want to add a little bit of added torque to the car or you do have a full kind going up a hill you can just use your trip tonic or you can just leave it in drive and the car will do everything for you now you can see that the car doesn't actually have a handbrake so it is a foot brake that's just on the left side of the car here you can just flick it to pop it up and you do push it down to engage it now taking a look behind the actual gear shifter you got your parking sensor control so you can turn it on and off in case those do get annoying and you got your active eco mode to just save you a little bit of added fuel um, if you are just cruising around the city um, a little storage i like to keep the keys in there to stop it from rolling around or being in your pockets when it gets all bulky and you do get this really nice leather wrapped um, armrest in the center console and if you do lift it up got plenty of storage in there you do have a little sec second compartment here which you can take out and you've got a full um, uh, area of storage there in case you don't want to put anything else that's bigger in there now what I do is get the camera person actually pan around the car to show you the uh, condition of the interior it has been looked after quite well now with the sun shades you do have a little added feature there obviously you can get when that Sun creeps in between the actual rear view and the shade also got um, your light controls and the actual control for your sunroof. Now it is a panoramic roof being the platinum model so do get a full glass roof across the front and back of the car and you do have the benefit of the sunroof which you can just slide across and it is an automatic shade as well uh, until this closes and it can close all the way so very beautifully designed car by Kia and again you can just flick it once and it will um, just uh, do it automatically now on the rear seats you do get um, sun visors on the window so you can just roll them up from the actual side of the car should I get the camera person to demonstrate to you if you do have kids in the back or just wanted to cover from a bit of, just wanted a little bit of shade especially on these kinds of days you do have that there as well now what we'll do is hop outside and close the video Thank you for watching this walk around video on this 2013 Kia Sorento Platinum. I hope this gave you a good represent a representation of the condition of the car and the actual features of the interior. Now if you did have any added questions or wanted to test drive, the number to dial is 99070555. Now just before I go, this car does qualify for a premium mechanical protection plan. Now what that offers is 5 years extended protection on 181 electrical and mechanical components of this car and it does come with 10 years roadside platinum roadside assistance. So great value for money. Now, as I mentioned before, this car does, uh, I would also recommend you take advantage of the glass coat preservation that does give a lifetime warranty on this beautiful paintwork. Now, these are at an additional cost. However, if you are using our in-house finance, love to introduce you to our business managers, Julie and Mario, who show just how minimal these will affect your repayments. Now, lastly, please check out our Google reviews. With over a thousand reviews and sitting at 4.8 stars, gives you the assurance that you are dealing with the right people and the right kind of business. Now, as I mentioned before, the number to dial is 9907055. My name is Mason, Beric Mitsubishi, love that experience.